Oh, hi, guys. Congratulations. How do you feel about ruining Ricky Ponting's retirement? <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking to me or whatever? Well, he's still got to come out and, and bet, so I don't think we've ruined anything. Um, uh, we know we've had a, we have a lot of hard work still ahead of us tomorrow and, and hopefully not day five, but if it goes that far, um, we know there's a lot of hard work ahead. Um, it's, it's a good wicket at the moment. Um, and saying that, I, I believe we have the skill to get 10 wickets, but we're going to have to work really, really hard, and, and we haven't ruined his, his um, last test match yet. Hopefully we do. <laughs> Has it struck you, despite your you and Pashing's brilliant batting, that um, in a funny sort of way it's a, it's a reverse of four years ago? Admittedly, Australia had 200 more runs to get than you guys did, but the pitch seems to be playing very well. It is playing quite well. Um, we're hoping that it will break up a little bit over the next few days. Um, there are a couple of cracks that. Um, that are developing at the moment, and, and hopefully it does, does open up for us in the, in the next few days. But it is a good wicket, and um, we're aware of the fact that if, if, it, if we go the full length of the test match, that they'll come quite close. Um, so we are aware of it, and, and we're not arrogant in, in any way whatsoever. We, we know we're going to have to come here and work hard, like I said earlier. Um, it won't be easy. We know the Australian batters are dangerous players, and, and they won't be giving it away, that's for sure. So. Come tomorrow, we'll, we'll just have to eat our straps first ball up and, and give it our best shot. Hey. Did you get the, the feeling that the bowling unit has maybe connected better in this match? I mean, they probably had their best out in the first innings. Have you seen a change? Yeah, they did amazingly well in the first innings. Um, I, I thought they bowled extremely well, probably the best they have in, in this entire series. Um, they certainly kept us in the game because the wicket played really well on day two. And um, to have bowled them out for 160 was a massive effort from the bowlers. So. I'm expecting more fireworks tomorrow from them, um, seeing that they, they are clicking a bit as, as, as a unit at the moment. AB, um, you had a bit of a scare there with Mornay at the end, I suppose, given he got up and kept bowling, he's all right. But yeah, how, what happened there and what was he sort of saying about what had happened? Yeah, they're just a bad footholds and uh, when Mornay's coming around the wicket, um, which is a bit of a problem, we'll have to sort it out because um, there are a few cracks on that end for the left-hander, for Mornay to bowl at when he's coming around the wicket. Um, um, over the wicket, he doesn't really eat the cracks there for the lefty, so we'll, we'll have to sort out the foothill so he can come around the wicket again tomorrow. Abi, um, probably or certainly your, your most fluent inning since the start of the England tour, I would think. Uh, I know you batted in different situations, defensive situations, but you really seem to turn it on today. Did, does, have you changed something or have you felt this innings coming for a long time? Yeah, I've, I felt it coming for a long time to be honest with you. Obviously there's a bit of um, added pressure on me with the, with the gloves in hand. It's, it's, been, it's been coming for a while now. Um, can, can I score runs with the gloves? And um, luckily I did today. Uh, so I, I feel really proud about what, what happened today. Um, but once again, it's, it's, not a, it's not a great performance if we don't win this game. So I'll, I'll really love it if we can push through tomorrow and, and on day five maybe. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a planned thing. I think fortunately when I got to the crease with Graham we you know there were a few balls that were loose balls that we managed to get away and I think that kind of gave us a bit of momentum. Um, and we just kind of felt, you know what, since we're feeling good we're just gonna keep going with it. Um, and we managed to manipulate the field a bit. I mean, you know, wherever there's gaps you try to hit the ball, so that's why I kind of go across a few one day shots, you know, coming in. Um, yeah, so it was just as simple as that really. You surprised more blokes don't do that because it really has an unsettling effect if you pull it off. And I suppose you're not going to get out of WA doing it. It's good. So the percentages seem pretty good actually. Yeah, you know, I guess so. It depends what position you in, you are in the team, uh, or the team is in. I mean, fortunately, we were in a really good position, like 300 for three or something like that. When uh, it kind of gives you the freedom to do it, so if you do make a mistake, it's not it's not a train smash. Hashim, um, are you surprised how quickly this game turned around from where it was, bowled out for 225 in the in the first innings? Well, I think you know, having been bowled out for 220 odd, we kind of knew that the game was going to speed up, and unfortunately, as AB alluded to, we managed to pull the game back, and the bowlers did really well. And 
once that happens, you know the game's going to go move quickly. Uh, and fortunately, we scored at a very good rate. I mean, Aggie's <coughs> knock was, was amazing at how he just kept that momentum you know, in our partnership and even after I had gotten out. Um, so the game's always going to move forward quickly. And as uh, you know, we hope tomorrow's a good day for us to, you know, to get quite a few wickets. Yeah, you know, Jacques got a hamstring problem, so there weren't too many quick singles. We tried a quick three and he pulled up short and then he kind of got the message that, you know, maybe not too many of those. Uh, so it's a bit of a difference. Um, you know, when Ebi comes to the crease, it's always a lot more intense. Um, you know, we're always looking for quick ones here and there. Um, but with Jacques and I probably have a very similar tempo. We like to walk our singles if we hit the sweepers. Um, so, but it's quite exciting and, and I always enjoy batting with, with our top order. Um, as everybody's got, we've got a unique chemistry uh, between each guys. AV, just back to your, your wicket keeping. How different is it physically, you know, spending a whole day out in the field wicket keeping rather than just being a, a normal fielder? And does that affect your batting whatsoever in terms of your energy levels and things like that? I have touched on it before, and um, I, I don't think people believe me, but I, I honestly believe I don't get as tired when I'm keeping. Um, when, we, when we're fetching a bit of leather in the field and you, you're one of the fielders running up and down, it's, it's really hard work, and it's, it can be mentally draining as well. Um, as a keeper, I've got my 30-odd yards to run between the overs, and that's, that's probably it. I've got to expect the ball a bit more often, obviously, as a wicket keeper, but I love being in the game. It keeps me on my toes, and I really enjoy having the gloves in hand. So if you had a choice, would you rather be a wicket keeper rather than just normal Absolutely, outfield? yes. Yeah. Hash, um, I sometimes thought in, in your innings that you were probably most at risk uh, in terms of running between the wickets. It's nice to see that your relationship with AB has survived the first run. <laughs> <laughs> um, you actually... Somebody mentioned he got me back. I ran him out uh, uh -huh. last time we were in Australia. Uh -huh. He just got me back. It's all right. We evens now. I was in the form of my life back then. Maybe what's with the hat trick of uh, reverse sweeps to get to 50? Did you? <laughs> Were you planning that? Uh, it, it just happened that way. Um, while he's running in, I just, I just decided that just got to go again because Clarkie didn't move there. Um, he kept the same field. Um, he pretty much bowled the same line. Um, I just felt it was an easy boundary option at the time. Easy for me to get, <laughs> get rid of the nervous 90s. And, and you know, I, I didn't get, give myself the opportunity to think too much, uh, which is a good thing.